All right, bring a trailer family. Uh, had a couple questions on the 1975 C20 Chevrolet Scottsdale and the AC unit and heating unit. So I'll just try to do a quick demonstration of how everything's working as it should. Uh, as you can read in the description, we completely uh, overhauled the AC system. I know there's a lot of fans they want to be able to cruise with their family uh, in these trucks and so it's critical that the AC system works. Uh, we changed the accumulator, we changed the AC compressor, did a full uh, switch out of removing the R12 and installing with appropriate pressure the R134. Uh, that was all that work was done at Nygaard Automotive in Indianapolis, a great shop down in the Broad Ripple area and truly the only place I could find that would still handle old R12 refrigerant. Okay, uh, so first off, uh, I'll just kind of show the heater and then show things cooling off as well. Uh, but, you know, so here's the, the heating unit. Uh, you can kind of hear the fan going and I, best thing I could find was a little uh, heat thermometer, but you can see it kind of working its way up. It, getting it nice and toasty inside. 90 degrees. Right now. I just turned on the truck, and so it's still down at cold temperature. Uh, but just at 100 now, getting quite toasty in the cabin. And I'm gonna see if I can just kind of sit that there for you to see. I know I have another thermometer that has a little tighter increments, but this is the best I could find, considering the auction closes in about three hours. Uh, by level works as well. So if you just go to regular heater, it goes down to the feet, and uh, and then defrost uh, by level is just defrost or sorry by levels both and then defrost is just everything kind of coming out the top um, I'm gonna go back to the heater and I'm just gonna sh or put it onto just the vent itself and you can see that that vents just working cooling everything doing everything great job right so here it is, nothing, and then a little pinwheel spinning. Also, this is the best I could find, <laughs> what my kids had out in the yard. Okay, uh, then we, if we just crank it down to cold, you can see uh, the temperature should drop a little bit, but it's not, you know, not gonna be instantaneous. But then I will crank it to the AC and you should kind of hear the shift in the engine, you know, as it's kind of an additional pull on the, uh, you know, on the engine, obviously. So here it's coming. That's top AC, pinwheels cranking, as you can see. So remember what it was doing with AC, or at the vent, and then with the AC. So that's it there. I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit better. You can see it's starting to suck down that temp. Here's this regular vent. And then, here's AC, just moving. All right, uh, as you can see, it's dropping that temperature, kind of cooling. It's not instantaneous, it takes just a touch of time for it to down. That's what Nygaard's told me. These trucks that are 1980s and older with the old AC systems, even with the upgraded or new compressor and accumulator, it's not going to be instantaneous, but this will be dropping down. As you can see, it's pulling it down. And Nygaard said that we should expect about 55 degrees, you know, out of this. Here we go. Let me see if I can get it in the other uh, vent. So 
so this is pulling it down, you know, even further, down to 60. And I can really start feeling this temp change as the AC's really starting to work around here. And I'll also show in the other, other vent here, it's also dropping it down, so all the vents work. You know, I end up here, but as you can see, there it's at just at 50, and it will be dropping it even further. You know, as I said, I'm taking my dad, my wife out on a couple dates uh, when it was 90 plus degrees here in Indianapolis. And it does get fairly humid, so we were able to have a really comfortable evening cruising around, and uh, she was impressed. I had a 1987 Crown Victoria station wagon Country Squire that didn't have the greatest of ACs before I fixed it, and, uh, and let's just say she wasn't a big fan of day nights in that on uh, summer evenings. So here you go, uh, fully consistent, 50 degrees. That's what Nygaard, just a little shy of 50 degrees, so probably 48. Uh, Nygaard said this is what should be expected from a 1975 uh, uh, AC unit. And uh, everything's working as it should, and it's really sucked the heat out. You know, as you saw, they had uh, super hot uh, temps going on this first. And then uh, this cabin was getting pretty toasty, and the cabin is, is cooled off very well now. Thank you.